Hello, I'm Jerry Ford. I got um, this is my this is my comic book collection. It's not really, it's nothing you know really big. Um, it's just uh, <clears throat> there's not you know there's not a whole lot of different different ones in here. Um, but uh, as you can see, this <laughs> this here um, where I had it stored a long time ago. We had cats and. Um, we were chewing on this box, so I had to pick it up and put it somewhere else before they got in here and destroyed my comic books, but, uh, um, <clears throat> I've had them put up in a shelf now, up higher, but, uh, this, this is who I've always been into since I was a little kid, um, Conan. Here's Conan the Destroyer. This is a uh, an original. I don't know what the year is on it. Let's look at one real quick. Conan Universe. <clears throat> I haven't looked at these in a long time. I've always just been into this kind of stuff. Barbarians, Vikings, you know, Berserkers. Just, I don't know. The movie, you know, the original movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger. One of my favorites. Conan the Adventure, Death Grip. <clears throat> Conan the Destroyer. Some of these are from the actual movie, like this. This in here is from the movie. You can see uh, the characters there. If you're familiar with, with the Conan movies. Conan, just regular Conan? Hmm. Yeah, sure is. This one isn't. This one isn't an old one. This is Dark Horse comics, I think, come out in the, I want to say the early 2000s, but I can't remember for sure. <clears throat> oh, this is open, I think. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see this. There we go. <clears throat> April 2004 published Dark Horse Comics. So yeah, it was around the early 2000s is when Dark Horse came out. My nephew, uh, one of my nephews, his name's Rox, he, uh, he started saving these for me because he knew how much I was into Conan. Uh, so he started getting me. He's a big, he's a big comic book collector um, <clears throat> I don't know if he still has them or not but he had a lot I mean he had boxes of them oh, oh sorry um, okay. Conan uh, this is another dark horse uh, <clears throat> yeah I've read all these um, I enjoyed the stories 
Conan. Got a bloody sword there. Um, it just has, you know, you go by the number. It doesn't really have a, a title of the story, I guess. Inside will probably is where they tell you, or maybe on the back, is where they tell you um, what the name of the, what stories <coughs> is going on. Another dark horse, this is number 13. Um, I got some really good artwork. I like their artwork. Um, oh, okay, well there's a title of that one. But this one didn't say it on this one. This is the devil within. This is the Widowmaker. This might be a different series too. The Widowmaker. Let's <clears throat> I'll stop this at ten and do a, a second video to whoever's interested in seeing the God in the Bowl. That's an ugly dude. Death in the Temple. <clears throat> Two Nemedians walk into a bar. Born on the battlefield. Oh, that would suck. Huh. <clears throat> Number seven. Last stand against Thoth Amon. It's got them, almost look like them little nasty Egyptian scarab beetles or something. The ones like from the mummy. They like to eat flesh, flesh eating beetles. They look like those. Oh. Another one I collected for a while, Red Sonia. Um, she Devil with a Sword. Dynamite Entertainment. <clears throat> this is a whole different series here, I believe. This is The Legend. Some more pretty good artwork. There's a mad dog right there. <laughs> Wolves in the woods. Nasty. Four on Uscuff Hill. That's a wicked looking picture. Wow. It's been a long time since I've looked at these. The City of Thieves. Makes me want to read them all again. As I got these, I read them, but it's been so long. The Siren Song of Death. All right, last one, then we'll cut it and I'll make a number two. The Thing in the Temple.
All right. Well, thanks for watching. If this is the only one you watch, I appreciate it.